What's up guys, it's Coach Drew. A lot of you guys have been telling me that you're struggling handling pressure in games, so today I'm gonna give you two great drills so that you can ultimately feel confident and comfortable when guys are getting after you in the games. The first drill we're gonna do is a stationary drill that's really good for half court pressure. I got Ron here helping me out. Ron's gonna step basically underneath the hoop just so he knows that's his spot. We always wanna have a designated spot on the floor so that we can see that you're maintaining pressure and keeping control of the ball without moving all over the place. Because a lot of times in games when guys start pressuring you, bad players turn their back, lose vision, and then start running all over the place. We need to do exactly what Ron did and basically come to a closed stance right here where he's protecting the ball, but he's still keeping his vision downhill so that he can still make a play. Okay, the first drill is going to be called the 12 second drill. The reason I call it the 12 second drill is because you're going to simply rip through for four seconds, dribble for four seconds, and then rip through for another four seconds. A lot of people don't understand the five second violation call. You can rip through for four seconds and then alleviate the count by dribbling. You can dribble for four seconds and then rip through for another four seconds before you can get a five second call. A lot of people think you can only control the ball or have the ball for five seconds with the defender pressuring you, but as long as you change from pip, pick up and rip throughs to dribbling to pick up and rip throughs, you can actually have the ball for 12 seconds without committing a violation. So walking through it, Ron's there. For the first four seconds, I'm just fouling his arms. I'm, he's ripping through. Boom. Then after four seconds, he starts dribbling stationary, changing hands, dribbling stationary. Then he picks it up and starts ripping through for four seconds. Now, coach isn't going to tell you when to rotate because in your mind, you have to kind of keep track of that count on your own because in a game, you're going to have to keep track of that own. So Ron's just going to basically rip through for four seconds in his head. Now, he doesn't want to go overboard. He'd rather, you know, start dribbling at three or three and a half or four than get a five second call. Then he goes to the next one, dribbling stationary. Notice he wasn't running all over the place. He's staying in the lane, trying to stay with his head underneath the basket while protecting the ball. And then again, he's going to rip through for four seconds. Here's a 12 second drill, full speed. Here we go, go, good, good. Control, control, maintain pressure, good. Stationary, good, good. And pick it up and rip through, come on. Yeah, nice, nice, and stop. Now you notice if he can handle that amount of pressure in a game, he's gonna feel comfortable and confident regardless what the defender's doing because in the game, defenders can't have their hands all over him. The second drill we're gonna do is a full court pressure drill. This one's really tough, but it's really simple drill. Ron's gonna be right here, again, head under the rim. I can foul him, I'm not gonna try to steal the ball in this case, but I'm gonna foul him and, and really put amount of pressure on him that he's never gonna see in a game because it'd be hand checks and fouls all over the place. And he's gonna try to advance the ball to half court. So if Ron starts driving over here, he's gonna feel me bumping him like crazy, dribbling, dribbling, dribbling. I'm fouling him, fouling his hands, fouling his shoulders. There's one big rule besides you that you have to stay within the lane line. So you can't go lane line extended out of bounds. The big rule is you can't turn your back. So I don't want any spins because when you lose your, your vision downhill in the full court setting, that's a lot of times when you get trapped and end up committing turnovers. So let's see this full court turns full speed. Here we go, Ron. Come on, quick. Good, handle that pressure. Nice, handle that pressure. Handle. Nice, nice. Good, nice job. Come on, good, handle that pressure. Nice, get to half, get to half. Good, and stop. Those are two great drills that you can work on to handle pressure better in games.